rabies protection depends on, yes, rabies antibody, neutralizing antibody, based on being there, being in the right amount, and being in the right place. And, and until you can be assured that your rabies serology result is telling you that, then you really aren't 100% sure that that level is going to mean protection for the exposure. The horse throughout its lifetime will continue to have rabies risk of exposure. In the United States, it's everywhere because of bat rabies. So they need to um, get that booster to maintain that level of protection. And because of their lifestyle, they are out in the field and are in a barn where they can be exposed to rabies vectors uh, quite often. With a disease such as rabies, which is fatal, um, until we know um, at a 100% level that a certain uh, level of antibody is protective in every case, with every strain, with every type of exposure, with every horse, young horses, old horses, we cannot um, say that antibody, this antibody level is going to be protective. And there's just too much unknown. You cannot generalize at this time any kind of level to protection. What we do know is that through challenge studies that are done for licensing of the vaccine, that the vaccine is effective for one year. That's what we know. Um, so the choice of taking the risk of going outside what we know and not vaccinating is just too high. You have to remember that people travel and animals travel. And um, a rabbit animal can move into your area at any time. And I always go back to rabies is a fatal illness. And I think of myself or my family, and would I, I ask my question, myself the question, I'm an immunologist, um, if I know myself or my family have a high titer to rabies and been exposed, what would I do? Absolutely, I'd get a, I'd get a, a booster.